from more five-minute devotions for children. Dancing cranes. For a long time, scientists couldn't figure out what whooping cranes were doing. Every year during their migration, the tall, skinny birds land and begin hopping up and down, flapping their wings and twirling around. Sometimes a flock makes a large circle and all the birds strut and wiggle together in formation. But why in the middle of a thousand mile migration would whooping cranes take time out to act so funny? It turns out whooping cranes just like to dance. They fly and fly and fly and that's hard work, but they take time to relax and have fun too. Some people could take a lesson from whooping cranes. They work so hard that they forget to play. God made the whole wide world for us. He wants us to work hard, but he also likes to see us enjoy ourselves. When we take time to play and have fun, we're celebrating what God has given to us. What do you say? How many dancing cranes do you see? Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Why do whooping cranes stop in the middle of their migrations? We read about that, didn't we? It says, but why in the middle of a thousand mile migration would whooping cranes take time out to act so funny? It turns out whooping cranes just like to dance. Isn't that pretty awesome? Do you, did you remember to play today? Mm -hmm. It's always good to have recreation. It's called recreation. God gives us a ability to just relax. Why does God like to see us play? Hmm. You think it's playing and makes us joyful and makes others joyful? What does God say? Always be joyful. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 Now those sw uh, cranes were um, in the middle of a hard work, weren't they? Traveling all that way in migration. But they took time to be joyful. Even when we're in the middle of something hard, it's so good to be joyful. You know how we can be full of joy is to read God's word.